Roller chains carry a lot of power in our society. We're all familiar with them as the chains that move energy to the wheels of our bikes. But roller chains also transfer energy in industrial and agricultural machinery. They really keep things moving, and without them, a lot of important equipment would be powerless. To make a roller chain, a punch press pulls steel from a giant spool. Using 500 tons of force, it cuts shapes out of the steel. These shapes are the link plates that will join all the parts of the roller chain. The plates travel on a series of conveyors. An arm positions them as they head towards the next punch press that makes two holes in each link plate. A worker then pours them onto a tray and spreads them evenly across it. A vibratory mechanism shuffles them into a blazing furnace. This heat treatment toughens the steel. Then they cool down slowly in a tank of oil. After that, they go for a tumble in the washer to get rid of the oily residue. Meanwhile, another machine uncoils some steel to make bushings or sleeves for the chain pins. The blade slices the material to the correct length. Then mechanical arms fold the steel around a mandrel. Here's the action in slow motion. In real time, it all happens faster than you can blink an eye. The bushings fall into a bin. And now they're ready to be heat treated. They open the furnace and stand away from the blast. A rail car takes the bushings into the flames. This may look destructive, but the bushings will come out stronger. Now it's time to make the pin that will hold everything together. This machine shoves a steel rod into a jig and a saw cuts it to size, which varies depending on the chain it'll be used for. A mechanical arm then picks up the pin and transports it to rotating heads, which machine down the ends. The pins then travel across a grinding wheel, which reduces them to a specific diameter. Next, they go through a wash cycle. A special mix of lubricant and solvents rinses away the residue from the grinding. These are the pins before and after grinding. Now it's time to put the pieces together. This is a breakdown of what happens at a blurring pace on the assembly line. The link plates and bushings go into an assembly device. A ram presses them together. They remove them and place two more link plates in the device. They position rollers on top of them and slide the bushings and link plate assembly into place. They press fit it all together. And now they have links for the roller chain. The next step is to fit the roller links together. They clamp them into a fixture and slide in pins. A hydraulic ram presses the pins to the base of the assembly. Then they connect the pins with another link plate and press it in place. This is repeated as they lengthen the roller chain. They can also widen it to enable it to handle more horsepower. To do this, they stack single strands of roller chain. They use longer pins to hold all the layers together. Again, a fixture holds it in place while the ram does its work. This produces heavy-duty roller chain. The one shown can handle 400 horsepower. Finally, they lower the roller chain into a vat of hot grease to lubricate the joints. And that's the chain of events that leads to the roller chain.